We currently have five games left in La Liga, and we are three points away from top of the league, Real Sociedad. And this could potentially be our very last episode here in this Barcelona career mode, because we have Manchester City in the Champions League semi-final. If we get through on both legs to the final, obviously there will be a final next episode. If there isn't, this will be the end. Oh, you're joking! You're bloody joking! Last episode, of course, we beat Juventus. Didn't just beat them, we smashed them. 5-1 on Agra, completely obliterated them, and that's why we're in the semis. But going back to the league table, I really, really want to win La Liga. If you guys have been watching the channel for a couple of years, I've struggled to win La Liga. Even when not recording, still struggled to win this league title. So if we can get our hands on it, in some ways, I'd say it's bigger than the Champions League for me. We have a massive episode ahead, potentially our very last one hopefully it isn't let's try and aim for 300 likes if you guys haven't already subscribe to the channel turn the bell on and let's get into it now last episode's player of the episode actually goes to two players Bernard Torres and Ansu Fadi now do not expect to see this ever again this is only because they were both incredible last episode Torres incredible potentially a player of the season you guys know that and Ansu Fadi we will get to him in the press conference what an episode he had now it's been exactly one week since we had that last Last episode of this Barcelona career mode. And the episode before that, so many of you guys were suggesting that we play Ansu Fadi more. We need to do it because we never played him. And we gave him the opportunity and oh boy, did he deliver. I can't tell you how many goals he scored or where he scored because again, it was literally a week ago and I can't remember. But I know he was good. He was good. We even have this dude in the comments pointing out that we try him as a false nine. Guessing as a center forward and kind of just go false nine like that. Something we've never really done before. Perhaps we do it in the future. But with the massive episode we have ahead. And if there is a next episode. I don't think we're going to be experimenting with a false nine and Zufani. We have Jack asking if we will be doing a season two. If we win the Champions League but not La Liga. You could say the other way around as well. Or if we don't win any of them. The answer to that question unfortunately is no. We won't be doing a season two here at Barcelona. And in fact there won't be a secondary career mode to the Spurs after this series. I'm just going to straight out, finish the Spurs, get onto a next series, and probably just have that as one series, not a second series on the side. Because it is a little awkward trying to upload two and then a Barca and that. It just distracts from one another and it's it's just not that great. If you guys really do like the secondary career modes, then let me know in the comments. But I'm thinking we could probably do some bigger teams and get through that series in like seven days and that's that onto the next one. So get your suggestions in the comments who them teams could be. And the last couple of episodes in this series, we were actually having a problem with the difficulty. It was far too easy. Ridiculously easy. The team was playing insane. We beat Juventus 5-1 on Agra. Since then, we have adjusted the difficulty and the game has now became harder. But it will be interesting to see if this team still is incredible because it may just be this squad. For an update on the season objectives, we have completed all five. To stake and has now reached 12 clean sheets. But we do have an objective just for today's video, which could impact next episode to Stegen has to get at least one clean sheet in today's video if he doesn't we cannot play him in the Champions League final if we get to it I was tempted to set it as two which probably should be two but we've got Man City you don't really expect a clean sheet there we've got Mallorca in the league we will sim that we could possibly get a clean sheet you never know when we sim second leg against City again are we really going to get a clean sheet and then Real Betis which we will play in the league and again we could potentially concede there so two I'm not sure. I mean, one, I'm, I'm kind of like, are we going to do that? But he has to. If we get to the final, we have to be having a 90 rated keeper in goal, especially if it goes to penalty. First leg is a massive, massive fixture at the Etihad. For some reason, Pedro is in the reserves. I'm guessing he had a suspension or maybe an injury. I'm not too sure. But we will do what we did last episode. We will be playing Torres as a number nine. An out and out striker, not a false nine. Just get in behind, just act as a striker. And Ansu Fadi on the left. That's what worked best. This team is so much better than it was at the start of the season. The 
midfield is absolutely insane. It is a shame that Depay or Aubameyang haven't been incredible. They, Aubameyang has a lot of goals, obviously, but he got most of them with sinning games. He got a lot of hat tricks. But I feel most confident with Torres and Fatty. We need to be winning this competition. It's been far too long since we last won it. So we've got to be doing the business here against City. Early on, we're passing the ball around really nicely. Here's Torres on the ball. Pedro is making a run. This team just feels a lot different to the Spurs. I tell you that. I, I don't know how it can feel this different. And so fat, it's the formation, isn't it? It is literally the formation. Now, Kessie, that CDM is nice to play with. And so Alba wasn't there. That's a nice ball. In behind, Phil nope. Bowden. Good save to Stegen. Manchester City with the first opportunity of the game. And Jordi Alba's picked up a knock. I mean, he's put Kevin De Bruyne on the floor. Here comes Jordi Alba. What a run. He's got a knock, apparently. I don't believe the game. And he's offside. Surely, Ansi Surely Dembele's offside. He's not. He's Dest in the box. Barea. Oh, he's got it. It's 1-0. Come on. It's taken a massive deflection. Keeper would have saved it. That is absolutely massive, that is. Comes off his ass. Edison not getting to that. He was diving for it. Pep's not happy. It's 1-0 Barca. Oh, what a tackle, Araujo. That was big. Barea. Oh, what a ball to Ousman Dembele. This team is just unstoppable. It's 2-0. Surely, Dembele, it is. You just cannot stop this team. There's something about it. Can't remember the last time we had a team this dominant in a career mode. The United, it was great, but not like this in the Champions League. This team just is different. In fact, the last time we had a career mode this good was the last time this guy was in the team. That Newcastle United career mode with Usman Dembele, he was the best player. That was, that was an incredible career mode. Now, here he is on the ball again. Got that lightning pace. He's got that dribbling, the left foot. I just don't get it. I don't get why the defenses cannot deal with anything. I th We're 3-0 up. We're 3-0 up. Up. The difficulty cannot be any harder. I don't get it. The whole time, it was probably just this save. It's 3-0. Fernan Torres. I don't know why the opposition sucks so much. We want to keep the clean sheet here. I don't know if we'll score anymore, but let's just try and hang on to this clean sheet. We need it. Oh, no. Why have I spoke? Why have I spoke every single time? What? What? What is this? What's with this game? What is with this game? You're 3-1 down. You're celebrating at the camera, you loser. I don't understand this game. Every time a content creator says something about a clean sheet, it goes and happens. That goes and happens. That's, that's awful. It was a crap finish as well, by the way. I don't know how to say you didn't save it, but clean sheet gone. Here's Cancelo. Whipped in. Oh, that's a goal back. Nope. Oh, what a save to Stegen. What a save there. Oh, we're giving her the ball away cheaply. That's not good. It's Cancelo, Silva, De Bruyne. Tackle. Jamie Vardy. What, what on earth is Jamie Vardy doing? We're passing the ball to them again. Oh, no. You're kidding me. Bernardo Silva. What a save to Stegen. The Champions League, ladies and gentlemen. The, I, 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 a leg is never over. A tie is never over. To Stegen is, is keeping us in it now. Last corner, last kick, whipped in. And there we go. Stegen catches it. That's game. 3 1 win away to City. If away goals were a thing, that's it. Tie over, but they're not. We could potentially rotate here. I will play Depay as the centre forward. We'll bring on this left back just for the sake of it. Maybe try it. No, I'll just I'll just leave it at this. We've got Depay and the left back rotating. Please win. A 3-0 win. There's the clean sheet. Boo! We get it. The left back scores. Ansu Fadi with goal and Frank Kesse. Come on, Barca. Manager of the month in La Liga. Five games played. Five wins. That's a that's a good record. Just to check the difficulty. We're on ultimate. Competitor mode. Play base difficulty turned off. The sliders. Guess we could adjust them a little bit more. The marking up an, another notch to, to 57 there. I mean, now we've done that, we better not get smashed by Man City in the second leg. The semi-final for us seems to be the hardest bit. We get to the final. Boom. Job done. We're, we're winning. Petri still needs to actually come back into the team permanently. We're going to be doing the exact same thing we've been doing though. And 
Not too fatty on the left. Torres up front. Come on, Barca. Let's get ourselves in that Champions League final. We want to try and get an early goal here. If we can get that fourth, that's it. City, hopes gone. But if they get an early goal, it's the complete opposite. Well done. Good positioning. Just keeping the ball with him. It's like our new Messi. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Anti uh, uh, Usman Dembele. Just going past him so easily. Out wide. Fatty. Torres, 1-0. No, you're kidding me. How's that? No. What are they doing? How are we not 1-0 up there? How are we not winning 1-0? Here comes City. Mara's in the box. No, tackle him. What a save to say. If to say wasn't in goal during these two legs, we would be losing. Back in the box. That's a penalty. You're kidding me. Get out. What, what's he doing spinning around like that? Look at him. Doing all these spinning around things. It's on the ground, rightly so. Kevin and Brian had to step up. You guys know I'm good at scoring penalties and saving penalties. Is going to the left-hand side. Yes, come on. To Sega with the save. You love to see it. Is Foden. Bernardo Silva on the ball now. Oh, this is good. No, you're kidding me. No. What am I doing? Sliding in. I've blocked the goalkeeper, I think. De Stegen couldn't do what he was about to do. Dive to the player's feet. The player went straight around the defender and keeper. And City are right back in this. That is terrible. What is De Stegen doing? What is that from Barca? That is terrible. I don't even know who this is for City. Yao Pedro. Nice little pass there. Pedri, there's a gap. Ansu Fadi. Is he onside? On his right. Get it. What? Ansu Fadi with the goal. What a goal it is. It's 4-2 in Agro Barca. Vamos. Great bit of play. Nice passing. It is Barcelona. What do you expect? Fadi's done amazingly well to stay inside. And even better, bend that and find the top corner from there. Keeper could have got a hand to it. But he didn't. And that's the goal. We are getting very close to this final. It's, it's not over. They're, they've brought on Jamie Vardy. Oh, what is the keeper doing there? Frank Kessie, what a save, rebound. There we go, we're in the final. What on earth are Manchester City doing there? Look at this, what a poor pass that is. You would not expect Man City to do that, but it is the Champions League. You never know with City in this competition. It's a great goal by Torres. Against his former club, by the way, I've just realized, scoring against his former club, Manchester City. Oh, here's De Bruyne, he's hit the bar. Rebound header. You don't know how OP they are. We're definitely in the final, guys. We've got about five minutes to play. Do we concede another? Do we score another? Does it stay the same? Whatever happens, we are through to the final. And that should be it. A couple of seconds left and boom. There we go. Barcelona in a Champions League final. Who are we playing? That's the big question. But we did so well against Manchester City there. Oh, wow. There's no way this is the final. You guys are going to like this. You guys are going to like this one. The team we have in the Champions League final is Liverpool. Can we get that revenge from them doing that ridiculous comeback they did the other year? What a fixture that is. Let's see it in the calendar. There it is. We have some big games coming up in the league now. In fact, all of the remaining games are challenging, of course. It's... It's La Liga. They're not complete awful teams. It's not Liga. We just need Real Betis to drop points here. We are going to play this game against Real Betis. Ansu Fadi is tired. We'll, we'll get a Bamian player now. We'll get Torres going on the left. We'll get Traore going, actually. We'll get PK playing. As long as we win, that's the important thing. But we can rotate here. Is Frank Kessie coming forward early on? As an opposite. Oh, he's going to go all the way. He's oh, they're awful. This opponent, they're dodgy. There's no way he's being able to just run through all of them. The defender do absolutely nothing there and still be able to score. That's a great goal by, uh, by Kessie. It's a great run. 1-0 already. Oh, here's a good opportunity for Betis. Nope. That's one. Oh, what a save to Stegen. That was world class. Got Alba making that overlap. Still Torres. Gonna have a crack from Rage. What a goal. What a goal by Torres. I'm pretty sure that may have taken a deflection. It seemed to go a different direction to the keeper. Did it take a deflection? That is the question. He hits it now. No, it doesn't. It, it's just a great goal. And recently, I've been trying to play like Barca in this save. Try not to make too many risky plays. 
epic header. Oh, what a goal there. Is that Gavi? We're absolutely destroying Betis here. But as I was saying, just finding space, moving the ball around, try and keep it on the ground as much as possible. Not making risky plays as often as we normally do. Sergio Dest. Got Aubameyang in the box. Crossed in. That's good. Always oh, hit the bar. We're playing some good football here. Is Alba. Big ball over the top to Torres there. Can we get a fourth? We deserve a fourth. We've played so well. Here he is, Torres. Going to hit it from this angle. I don't believe the keeper has just saved that. Has he skied it? He's just, he skied that. I cannot believe he's actually skied that. Oh, good opportunity. Clean sheet. Por favor. You're kidding me. How have we gone and conceded in a game like this where we've played so well? And then all of a sudden, boom, we're conceding a goal like that. What are we doing there? It could be 6-0 in this game. I'm hoping after such a good performance that uh, uh, if they concede here, if we can see... Yeah, awful. Beautiful. I'm hoping Real Sociedad have dropped points. This stadium's great. This is an amazing stadium. And there we go. There's the three points. It's a 3-1 win against Betis. We played amazing there. Maybe if we had our best players on the pitch, we'd have, you know, scored a lot more goals there. Maybe not even conceded. The question is, have they dropped points? No, they haven't. This is going to go down all the way to the wire. I mean, it's such a shame we're not playing them in one of the last games of the season. We did play the last episode and that was a fat 4-0 win to us you know proving we're the better side but we just didn't have a good start to the season we've got south to Vigo up next we've got three games in the league and i've just seen real sociedad i've gone and won again i think the league might be gone you never know you never know we'll see what fixtures they've got up next let me know in the comments who your player of the episode was if you enjoyed leave it a like turn the bell on so you don't miss a future episode subscribe if you haven't already thank you very much for watching and in the top left your screen should be a video that youtube recommends you watch